It's Monday at the Mystical Magical Mansion. I hope this summer day, this wonderful summer solstice day, finds you all well and enjoying this beautiful weather. It's absolutely perfect here in Omaha today. So I am coming to you amidst the blooms in my yard and the birds are chirping and it has just absolutely been the most wonderful day. Um, I am so excited to share with you some of the things that I discovered this week. Historical documents about the neighborhood and um, the tornado of 1913. So where I'm standing in the back of my house, I'm gonna kind of pan up. So this area, the where the portica share in that top part of the house was actually really got major damage from the tornado in 1913. And um, I think it's amazing that you can't really tell. There's maybe some little things that were changed from the original blueprints, but you wouldn't know it if someone hadn't told us. So anyway, I'll share some of those pictures and that information. So let's take a look. So I'm walking over to the Jocelyn, just beautiful walk through the neighborhood today. Um, it's such a gorgeous morning. The Restoration Exchange, which is a really cool group here in Omaha is doing um, a sale of information and photos and artifacts. So I'm really excited to go see if I can find something about our house or our neighborhood. that we have our own castle here in Omaha. So the Restoration Exchange is now um, within the grounds at the Jocelyn Castle and they had a sale and I was able to get some historical documents for a dollar, which I think is amazing. But this is some houses in our neighborhood, um, how they are now, but what happened with the tornado of 1913. And I think this one is super amazing because on the back, there's a handwritten account by this gentleman that actually survived. It was written by Alfred E. Hansen, and it describes the day and how it all happened when um, he experienced the tornado that hit Omaha. It was March 23rd, 1913, and again, it did hit this house too, in this neighborhood. Um, so I just think this is such a fascinating thing to have. And um, he was 19 years old at the time, it was an Easter Sunday on March 23rd, 1913, and it had been a pleasant spring-like day, but this is just so cool. So I kind of want to put together a whole um, story about the tornado and what happened. This other piece that I got is sort of like a little booklet, and this is reflecting off of my chandelier, I apologize. But it's a booklet with lots of different pictures and pages. Of, so this is um, the Driscoll's home at 4222 Farnham. So as you can see, major damage. Those women look super sad. This book just sort of goes through all of these different pictures. This one's um, the MD Cameron home, 3507 Cumming Street. So look at that beautiful house that was just destroyed. That one, not quite so much. I was hoping that there would be something about our house in here, but not in this book. Here's another one. Um, that one is Sacred uh, Sacred Heart Academy at 36th and, and Burt. So, yeah, I'm telling you, I can't imagine what it would have been like. Um, here's another one. I just think it's fascinating when you look at their uniforms and all of the people and, um, gosh, the damage was just extensive. There's part of town. There's one in here that is of, yeah, this is... One of them actually removing a body. So several people did die that day um, in that tornado, which they didn't have all the alert systems and all the things that we have now. We have such an advantage when there are storms. So it's kind of crazy. Um, another thing that I got that was so hard right turn here, um, this, uh, the Paxton Hotel, which is downtown. This is a letter written to someone on the, the Paxton Hotel um, stationary and it's a love letter and you can see that it's written in 1883 sunday uh december 9th and it starts my dear sweetheart so i i has, i mean they had me there i miss you and your ample bosom and rolling in the sheets together kidding not what it says but anyway i wish it would have i would have paid a lot of more for it if it did but anyway no it's just a, a sweet letter from um, a husband to his wife. It's very, very nice. But I just think the penmanship, like the cursive back in those days and the fact that it's from the Paxton, 
I think it's just so amazing to have just these little bits of history um, from this neighborhood in this area. And then it had just a little bit, some other photos of the Paxton. So yeah, it was a worthwhile trip to go down to the Restoration Exchange. They have events every now and again. And the gal who um, I chatted with did send me an email and sent me a whole bunch more information about the Dixon family who had moved here and the house. And so that was really great to have that too. So. So this week I received the sweetest package in the mail from my friend Darlene and I am just absolutely so grateful and I love everything that she's sent but it all is just so heartfelt so um so look at this first they came in this beautiful purple paper and with the purple ribbon which is very special but look at these beautiful linens oh my gosh they're all just this delicate hand stitching and this purple trim on this one. Love, love, love. And then these other, this little hand towel and this padded doily, which I've never done tatting myself, but there's, it's quite an art form. And then another doily and then a beautiful little cloth. So, oh my gosh, I am just so, so, so touched by this, Darlene, my sweet friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And these definitely will be getting used here in the Mystical Magical Mansion, 100%. Look how sweet those are. So the floor has been painted. We are putting together the wardrobe that goes in the corner to store all the baby clothes and things. And it's coming along. So the nursery is partially finished. Floor is done. Pack and play is in place. Wardrobe is there. And thank goodness because we got to have Molly and Kyle and Carter over the weekend, sadly their air conditioning went out. Not sad for us, but sad for them. So it was great to have them here and to have the room ready to receive our little sweetie pea. So yeah, we've got a rug coming this week and we'll be adding some more colors and curtains and those kind of things, but we have made some progress, which is great. And yes, that is a beautiful old wardrobe that goes in here that is just a stunning piece. We absolutely love it. And it'll be a great place for storage and clothes and all of their little things. And they deserve it. They deserve to be unapologetically fancy too. I mean, you have to put something great in here to go with these sconces. So thank you all for tuning in, for sharing for being part of this amazing journey that we are going on here at the Mystical Magical Mansion. I absolutely love and appreciate all of the words, the good wishes, the connections, the messages, all of it has been so sweet and so wonderful. And I hope that it just continues to build a community. And I will be starting to do some live events here, probably some um, meditations or some evenings with a medium here at the Mystical Magical Mansion, just something I'm kind of, throwing some ideas around, but live events will be coming. I'm not sure exactly time frame, just because of the construction will be going on in the kitchen, but we'll kind of see how it, how it all plays out. So um, anyway, stay tuned. And if you have not, please subscribe to our channel so you can stay in touch and abreast of all the exciting things that are happening. And as always, get out your good linens, get out your doilies, get out all of those things that women used to make and care about so much. Like, let's start using them again. They're very unapologetically fancy. But drink a good glass of wine, sit out on your porch, share a good conversation with someone interesting, whatever it is that feels unapologetically fancy, you need to do it because you know what? We deserve the good stuff. So take good care. I will see you next week and best wishes from the Mystical Magical Mansion.